I've had a number of folks ask me, how do I make my coffee in the morning? And the concept is cowboy coffee. It's a very simple pot of water, coffee grounds poured in, allow the coffee to steep, do something to break the surface tension of the water so that the grounds will then settle to the bottom and then pour your cup. So our first step is to get some water to a good rolling boil. Um, you don't have to get it to a rolling boil every time that you're doing it, as long as you just get it to a boil. But today we're gonna to get it to a rolling boil. Um, we're not gonna look in here just yet because we're not boiling yet. So we're a fan of coffee. We like all kinds of coffee. I'm not gonna mention uh, every single brand we like, but the best part of waking up is, is one of those that we put in our cup. Um, we've got another one that we use, which is the community coffee. We love Black Rifle coffee. Um, whatever your coffee of choice is, read the instructions. There's nothing real fancy or creative about how to make the coffee as far as quantities, other than figuring out the quantity of your pot, figuring out the amount of coffee to go in for that amount. What I've done is I've got a, a big, it's about a two and a half gallon, it's called a coffee boiler, and it takes about this much coffee, which is about a cup and a half of grounds for that pot to work for me. Cut. So our goal is to get to a rolling boil on the water. We're doing this for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is where we happen to be camping, there is a boil requirement, and so we wanna make sure that the water is safe. It is, once we hit that boil, we're good there. But the other is we want the water good and hot enough so that when we put the coffee in, it will steep. Now, there are some folks that are gonna say, put your grounds in and boil those grounds a whole bunch. I'm not gonna cast judgment on how other people make coffee. We've found that when we do that, the boiling, getting the coffee up above 212 degrees uh, actually creates a greater bitterness. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna steep our coffee grounds at about 200 degrees. And so the way that works, we get the water to a boil, then I'm gonna turn off the fire, and then I'm gonna add the grounds to it. So I'm gonna turn us off right now. We're at that boil. We've got our pre-measured grounds, and there's nothing real ceremonial about it. Just gonna dump them right on in there. Come on in and take a look and see what it looks like. So what's happened now is the grounds just simply float. So we're just gonna stir them a little bit to get them where they will go down into the water so that it will steep and draw all that good coffee goodness flavor out of the grounds. Once we have done this, we're going to leave it alone. We're going to give it about five minutes or so to simply steep. There is no fire under this pot right now. We've got enough heat with the water that boiled to get us to what we need. So we're going to let it steep for about five minutes. After that's done, steeping, I'm going to take some cold water, pour some cold water into the spout. That's going to do two things. It's going to knock any grounds that may have bubbled up into the uh, spout as I was stirring it, and it's also going to break the surface tension of the water. You know how you have a droplet of water sitting on, on a surface and it's got a, a dome shape to it? That surface tension is holding that in one place, and those coffee grounds would sit right on top. But by splashing water into it, it'll break that dome, so to speak. The grounds will then settle down to the bottom. Some people say to, to put things into your coffee, like eggshells or scrambled eggs, or there's all sorts of different things. I have friends that say the proper way to deal your coffee is to keep boiling it until you can stand your horseshoe up in it. That's their call. That's not how I do it. So we're going to let it sit. We'll come back to it after a while, put the water in, and see how it turns out. We've been sitting about five minutes. I've simply moved the pot from the stove where I was getting a head start on it because I didn't want to worry about my campfire so much. And I've now moved it over to the tripod that we're gonna be pouring it from. We've had about five minutes of a sit time. I'm now gonna take some cold water. I'm gonna pour about a cup of it into the spout. And that's, again, gonna knock the grounds that may have gotten into the spout out of the way. It's also gonna break the surface tension. We'll give it about another minute and it's gonna be time to pour. Once that water goes in, it doesn't really take long to let it settle. Just enough time to go grab your cup and give it a pour. So we're gonna get in close and see how this looks. Looks like coffee. Before I put too much, we're gonna take a look in here. I don't know if you can see any grounds in there or not. Maybe a flake or two, but I don't see much of any there. 
and that's how we make cowboy coffee. So give it a try, take the mystery out of it, read the instructions on your coffee to see how much coffee grounds per unit of water, and have fun.